This past Saturday, Utah football remembered two of their own in a very special way. The Utah football team dealt with two tragedies in just a nine month span with the deaths of two members of their football team. In December of 2020, the Utes running back, Ty Jordan, passed away due to an accidental gunshot that was self-inflicted. He was 19 years old. Nine months later, in September of 2021, the Utah football team lost another one of their own when cornerback Aaron Lowe was shot and killed at a house party. He was only 21 years old. Lowe's killer has since been arrested. Saturday was the Utah football team's annual blackout game and their final home game prior to Halloween. However, this year would be extra special as the team would be wearing hand-painted helmets in memory of Jordan and Lowe. The helmet features a painted image of the two players on each side of the helmet, as well as the number 22 in the form of a heart on the back. The two players both formerly wore 22, with Aaron Lowe changing from his original number 2 to honor his close friend Ty Jordan following his passing. Ty Jordan and Aaron Lowe seemed to be especially close to the team this Saturday as they were able to complete the 43-42 upset over number 7 ranked USC, handing the Trojans their first loss of the year. The Utah football team keeps Ty Jordan and Aaron Lowe with them in memory every day, but Saturday was a way to memorialize them in a unique way. Beyond the helmets that were worn on Saturday, Jordan and Lowe will forever be part of the Utah football team following the retirement of their number 22 on October 30th, 2021.